All right, everyone, real quick video just to go over the Lab 5 and the uh, instruments and apps that you're going to be using for this. Uh, I started describing it in the Discord channel. Um, I was able to do screenshots for, that's not the one I want. Uh, I was able to do screenshots for the function generator, but when I started over here to the oscilloscope, it got real, real confusing real fast. So I'm just going to knock out a quick video. Function generator on the left, um, your signal route is where you are going to get this sine wave. AO0 is analog output zero. Um, you'll find that on your breakout board. And then all the rest of the settings up here are fairly self-explanatory. You've got your waveform settings. You can put out a sine wave, which is what we'll be using, a triangle wave, and a square wave. You adjust your frequency here. You can go anywhere from 200 millihertz all the way up to 20 kilohertz. Uh, amplitude, anywhere from 0 volts to 10. But I have noticed, uh, working with this circuit here in particular, that if you go too much over 5 volts, I think the waveform starts getting really funky for you. DC offset, we're not going to use. Sweep, you can go ahead and play with that if you want to. Um, that's actually kind of helpful. But uh, we're just going to go over the basic functions here. I'm going to set this back to that. It's arbitrary, but that's where we're going to start off. Oscilloscope, you have two channels. Um, you can use one source as a I0, that's analog input 0. A second source, analog input one. If you use your second source, make sure you enable it. It does not come enabled by default. And if you are using them to compare, which is what I did, make sure that your scale volts per division are the same on both. Otherwise, you'll get uh, readings that don't really make any sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the function generator. It is spitting out a sine wave at 47 point whatever this is hertz. And go over to our oscilloscope here. I have mine looped back into analog uh, 0 and 1. So we are going to hit run. And you can see you can see that waveform that I was talking about where it's clipping up at the top here. I'm going to go ahead and roll that back until I get a good sine wave. Now, this is dancing all over the place. Um, the way that you can stop that is you use your trigger. Change your trigger type from immediate to edge, and you can see that it freezes it on the, uh, on the upslope here. You can change that to a downslope. Um, that's preference. Now, if my frequency over here gets too small, you'll notice that my waveform can't really see anything. And it's waiting for trigger, it's doing. Your time per division is where you will adjust that. So if you come up here to, what are we going to do? What's it doing? There it is. Um, as you adjust this, it will adjust how much of that sine wave you see. So 10 milliseconds, you are seeing half of what you would see at 20, which is two fifths of what you would see at 50 milliseconds. As you adjust your frequency here on the left, you will need to adjust your time division scale accordingly so that you can just analyze the wave. Uh, you can see here the channel zero and channel one. I have mine just running through a voltage divider, two resistors. So one is half the size of the other. That's just how I'm getting these waves here. This is not what your lab is going to look like. Um, other settings that I mentioned here is your uh, volts per division. If I make that smaller, you can see that I my sine wave gets taller because each division only accounts for 500 millivolts in this case versus one volt. And you can also see that even though the voltage of the blue one is half of the voltage of the green one, 
The green one is much taller because I do not have the same voltage per division here. So as you're doing your analyses, make sure you're keeping those volts per division the same. Um, that uh, That's about it. That should be everything you need to get started with the lab. Enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions.